Early in her career, Dawn Wells was labeled by many as an ordinary farm girl, though she was actually a true asset to Reno. Wells began her career as a beauty queen and went on to become one of the most beloved actresses of her time. Over the course of her career, she appeared in numerous television shows and movies and won the hearts of audiences around the world with her warm and relatable performances. Despite thousands of fans, few people know her true life story. How did Don Wells get into movies and why did one role change the entire entertainment industry? But before I continue, I want to ask you to support my channel by just clicking the subscribe button. Wells was born in Reno, Nevada, where she attended Reno High School. Her father owned a local Reno shipping company called Wells Cargo. After high school graduation, Wells attended Stevens College in Columbia, Missouri, where she majored in chemistry. She transferred to the University of Washington in Seattle, where she graduated in 1960 with a degree in theater arts and design. She was a member of the Alpha Chi Omega sorority. After college, she moved to Hollywood to pursue an acting career. She was a beauty queen and won the title of Miss Nevada in 1959. She also competed in the Miss America pageant that same year. In Hollywood, Wells made her debut on ABC's The Roaring Twenties and the movie The New Interns and was cast in episodes of such television series as The Joey Bishop Show, 77 Sunset Strip, The Cheyenne Show, Maverick, and Bonanza before she took the role of Mary and on Gilligan's Island. She reprised her character in the various Gilligan's Island reunion specials, including the reunion cartoon spin-off Gilligan's Planet and three reunion movies, Rescue from Gilligan's Island, The Castaways on Gilligan's Island, and The Harlem Globetrotters on Gilligan's Island. She also appeared as a guest star on many other TV series and appeared in a few movies. Following Gilligan's Island, Wells embarked on a theater career, appearing in nearly 100 theatrical productions as of July 2009. She spent the majority of the 1970s and 1980s touring in musical theater productions. She also had a one-woman show at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas in 1985. It's worth noting as one of the few female leads on television in the 1960s, Don Wells' role as Mary and Summers on Gilligan's Island had a significant impact on women in entertainment. Her character was smart, capable, and resourceful, and served as a role model for young girls who were watching the show. Wells herself was also a trailblazer, breaking down barriers for women in Hollywood and paving the way for future generations of actresses. Her impact on women in entertainment cannot be overstated, and she will always be remembered as a feminist icon. In 1993, Wells published Mary Ann's Gilligan's Island Cookbook with co-writers Ken Beck and Jim Clark, including a foreword by Bob Denver. In 2005, Wells consigned her original gingham blouse and shorts ensemble for sale from her signature role. Beverly Hills Auction House Profiles and History sold it for $20,700. In 2014, Dawn Wells published her memoir, What Would Mary and Do? A Guide to Life. In the book, she reflects on her life and career and shares insights into what it was like to be a part of one of the most beloved television shows of all time. She also offers advice and inspiration for readers, drawing on the lessons she learned throughout her life. The book was a critical and commercial success and is a testament to Wells' talent as a writer as well as an actress. It is also worth mentioning about the personal life of Don Wells, because it was also very intense. Wells was married twice, first to Larry Rosen from 1962 to 1967, and then to Charles Babb from 1988 to 2018. She had no children. In 2007, Wells was arrested for possession of marijuana while driving home from a surprise birthday party that had been thrown for her. She pleaded guilty and was sentenced to six months of unsupervised probation. Despite this setback, Wells remained beloved by her fans and continued to work in the entertainment industry throughout her life. She was known for her warm and friendly personality and for her dedication to charitable causes. She served as a board member of the Idaho Film and Television Institute and was actively involved in the Terry Lee Wells Foundation, which provides education and support to underprivileged children in Nevada. In her later years, Dawn Wells faced a number of health challenges. In 2018, she was diagnosed with cancer and launched a crowdfunding campaign to help cover her medical expenses. Despite her illness, she remained positive and continued to work in the entertainment industry. She even joked that her fans had helped her become a poster girl for aging, proving that life can be fulfilling and rewarding at any age. 
Sadly, Wells passed away on December 30th, 2020, at the age of 82. Her legacy as a talented actress, generous humanitarian, and trailblazer for women in entertainment will live on for generations to come. Dawn Wells was a talented and beloved actress, author, and producer who left an indelible mark on popular culture. Her warm and relatable performances captured the hearts of audiences around the world, and her dedication to charitable causes made her a respected and admired humanitarian. Although she passed away in 2020, her legacy will continue to be celebrated for generations to come. Dear viewers, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and be sure to give me a like if you liked the video. I'm not saying goodbye, I'm saying see you soon.